Alright guys, welcome back to the course. In this one we are going to continue working on the profile page and we would like to extend this table with some additional statistics such as how many posts did we write, how many likes did we give and how many likes did we receive. And in order to do that, let's just look at our plan, our structure. So we are not done with part one yet. Uh, there's still a lot of things that uh, has to be done but we will return to this part uh, yeah even in this video but for now what we need to take care of is to create this post model comment model and like model and this is what we are going to do now then we are going to register those uh, models in the admin and we are going to create some objects so later we can actually go back to the profile and yeah display some stuff at the end all right, so without further ado, let's head over to uh, posts and let's go to models and over here, let's define our first class and this is going to be the post class and this will inherit from models.model. So the first field that I'm going to put in is a content. So this is the post content field and this will be models text field. All right. The next one is going to be an image field. So over here, what we can do is to put in models image field. And what I'm going to do next is to provide the upload to, and I'm just going to put in posts. And as next, I'm going to put in validators. And we need to import um, a file extension validator, which we will pass in in a list. So we can do it from Django core validators import this file extension validator so let's copy it and uh, delete it by accident let's put it over here and now we can pass in as a list the extensions that are allowed so we are going to allow P png jpg and jpeg all right and the last thing that we would like to put in is blank is equal to true. So uh, this field will be optional. It's, it won't be mandatory. All right, so uh, we are done with the image and we can create another one called liked. And this is going to be models many to many field. And over here, we need to pass in the profile. So first of all, let's import it from profiles dot models import profile. And um, what we would like to do is to maybe we can set the default is equal to none and then add a related name. And this is going to be likes. So the goal over here is to keep track of profiles who uh, liked a particular post coming through this class post. All right. So we will have a list of users who simply liked a particular post object. All right. So the next one will be the updated. And this is something that you probably know already. Models date time field with auto now is equal to true and the created so this is going to be models and date time field auto now add is equal to true and finally i'm going to add an author so the author of the post and this is going to be models foreign key and this is going to be a foreign key to the profile with on delete equals to models cascade. Okay, and the related name I'll add over here as post. And you will soon understand why. So now I think we have all the necessary fields defined and we can focus on adding the string representation. So let's return str self content. But let's limit this to 20 chars. 
like this. Okay, so now we should have our string representation and let's also grab number of likes for a particular post object. So we need to create a method which takes in self and we need to return something. So we are taking a single object, a single particular object coming through this post and we are accessing the liked field and then we want to grab all the likes for this particular post and we simply want to count them okay so this is number of likes and we can do a similar action later on for number of comments so uh, I'm going to write a comment over here number of comments here and yeah we can also add a class meta with and with the class meta we can define the ordering so I'm just going to write down ordering open up a tuple and we want to do it by the created so the minus created so the newest posts will be at the top and the oldest one at the bottom okay so I think we are done with the post model and we can now move on to the comment so over here let's go down and let's create another class called comment and again this will inherit from models.model so the first field is going to be a user and this will uh, be models foreign key and this is going to be a foreign key to the profile and let's specify on delete models cascade okay so this is the user the second one will be the post so we are going to refer to this model and this is going to be again a foreign key so models foreign key and this time we are passing in the posts and on delete will be also models models cascade okay the third one will be the body of the comment so this will be models text field we can pass in max length is equal to 300 and the another one will be created actually we can add maybe updated and created so I'm just going to grab those two and put them below the body so now what we need to do is to define a string representation and let's return um, str self pk all right uh, yeah so this is the comment and uh, now let's do the like so let's write class like which inherits from models.model and the purpose of this class will be to have a track of the like so we will know when a particular user gave a like so with this field created we can actually begin from here um, we will know when a particular like object was created and who gave the like and to what posts this user gave a like. So we will store the information when the first time a particular, particular like has been given. And then if the user decides to press unlike, we will store this information in the updated field. But apart from user post, we would like to also have a value. So the value will be either like or unlike and we will just handle this in in a second so starting from the top the user will be again um, a foreign key to the profile so models foreign key and over here let's pass in profile and on delete models cascade and then the post I'm just going to copy it from here and finally we are going to have a value so this is going to be models char field 
and we need to pass in some choices. So what we are going to do over here is to um, pro create another tuple that we will name like choices and we will do this in just a second and the max length will be equal to 8 because 8 chars has unlike. So let me do this like choices very quickly. So we need to open up a tuple and inside the tuple we are going to create additional tuple and the left, left value will be for the database purposes and the right value will be the human readable name. So this is the value for processing and this is the value that we will see in the admin very soon. So okay we have like and then we need to create another tuple for the unlike. Okay so we have user post value updated created and over here I forgot about the ending parentheses so right now everything should be working and we would also like to have a string representation so let's write it down str which takes in self and let's return and maybe self user dash self post and self value okay so I think we are done over here at the model so I'm going to save it and head over to the admin over here we need to register our models so from dot models import post and then comment and then like okay and now we need to register them so admin site register and I'm going to pass in post copy this and I'm going to put in comment and put in like. So I'm going to save this, go to the terminal and over here we have a syntax error so let's check this out what is wrong. Um, file extension validator okay we need to this is all this file extension is in a list itself so we need to end it as a list and let's try this out again. Did I save the file? No I didn't so let me close this and Python manage py make migrations and over here we still have okay blank is equal to true uh, the closing uh, bracket was over here so let me delete it let's save it and Python manage py make migrations okay Python manage py migrate and Python manage py run server. Okay, so let's jump into the admin. Admin and here are our po uh, comments, likes and posts. So this name um, isn't indicating uh, it's it's indicating the the post application. However, we have over here not only the post but also likes and comments. So maybe we can change this, and we can do it in a very easy way. We just need to head to the um, apps, and over here we just need to add verbose name, and let's just put in uh, posts, comments, and then likes. And what we need to do now is to copy this post config, head over to the init, and here we need to indicate the default app config. And this is going to be the posts, so the posts application, the posts folder. And inside the posts folder, we have this apps file. 
and over here we have the posts config so now if we save this refresh we have posts comments like likes okay so yeah let's try to add a particular post I'm going to put in a test post and I'm not going to set an image I'm going to set an author default is none it's this is bolded but the default is uh, is none so uh, we shouldn't get an error uh, I'm just going to select my user and I'm going to press save and save just save so uh, actually we have this field is required so the default none didn't work over here um, yeah okay so what we are going to do is to replace the default equals to none with blank is equal to true okay and then let's do Python manage py make migrations Python manage py migrate and Python manage py run server all right let's refresh and let's try this out again um, test post and I'm not going to provide the image I'm just going to add also the author and I'm going to press save and here is our test post perfect so now let's uh, return to Visual Studio Code and let's handle this number of comments so we need to write a method that will be named maybe mm, num comments something like this or yeah uh, and this takes in self and yeah what we need to do is to return and then we are referencing self so we are accessing a single post and we are going to be dealing over here with a reverse relationship so over here we don't have any relationship to the comment but over here we have a relationship to the post so if we didn't provide any related name and we didn't provide any related name by the post over here uh, we need to write down the model name so this is going to be simply comment and set this is the syntax model name this underscore over here and then set and then we want to grab all of the comments and simply count them okay so uh, we, we are going to practice this very soon let's just save this we have now the number of comments and let's return to our profiles model and let's work on those statistics over here so actually the first one is going to be related to the number of posts so um, going back over here let's define another method that we will call uh, get maybe posts and o or num um, yeah I'm just going to write over here and o and I'm just going to write down self and now we need to return self and again we need to think about the relationship so first of all I'm going to write down posts because we want to get all the posts of a particular profile over here so uh, what we need to do is to add this field over here with the number of posts of this particular profile so in order to do that we need to jump back into our posts model and over here we have the author so here we have this reverse relationship again but this time we provided a related name posts so what we can do is instead of writing um, if we go if we jump back to the models instead of writing post set all we can write posts and then we can simply write all and we can count them okay so now we have uh, get posts number and uh, if we have this ready we can do one more thing as well let's call it get all author um, authors posts 
and this will take in self and this will be exactly the same but without the count okay and this should be get not fit all right so we have get post number and get all outer posts perfect so the next step will be to work on the likes so let's begin with the likes given get likes given and oh this is the method which takes in self and I'm going to define a new variable called likes and let's set it to self and then we need to again think about the relationship so let's jump to the models let's find the like and here we have the relationship to the post but we don't have any related name so what we need to do we need to use the like set syntax and let's do it so like set and all and then I'm going to create total liked variable with uh, the initial value set to zero and now we can loop through those likes for item and in likes the first thing that we need to do is to check if this particular item has a value of like and if this item has a value of like we can simply add to the total liked plus one okay and finally we are going to return total liked okay so this is for the like is given and let's do for the likes received so get likes received and oh and this takes in of course self so over here we need to reference the posts so let's create a variable called posts and this is going to be self and again let's jump into um, the models py file over here and here we have this particular related name posts so we can use it self posts all so now we have all the posts of a particular profile and i'm going to set another uh, just like just like over here another variable total liked i can actually copy this and again we need to loop through but this time not the likes but the posts so for item in posts ah uh, come on in posts what we want to do over here is to extend the total liked by item and then all and we just need to count them so we are grabbing a particular post we are accessing the likes field we are grabbing all the likes of the particular post and we are counting them okay and then we just need to return total liked all right so i think everything is ready we should have all the statistics uh, working um yeah let's try this out so what we need to do is to head over to my profile and we are going to begin with the get posts no so i'm going to copy this and bring it to my profile I'm going to put it over here for now and I'm going to copy um, this table row and paste it below so here we will have number of posts and this will be get posts and oh so let me bring it in over here let's save it let's refresh and there it is so this is working so we have number of posts is equal to one so the next thing the next thing is to bring um, 
yeah, we won't do the get all outer posts uh, yet, just yet, but we can focus on the get likes given and O. So I'm just going to copy this, put it over here, and paste this. Uh, sorry, copy this and paste this, and then number of likes given. And we need to copy it or cut it and put it over here. So now I'm going to save it, refresh, and we have number of likes given zero. So right now we don't have a solution for um, for the signals uh, attached to the posts. So because every time um, a user likes a particular post, we should create or update this um, like object. But let's try to do this manually for now. In the next one, we will set it automatically. So let's head over to the home. Let's, cr let's go to the posts. Let's go to test post. And I'm going to add myself to this liked field. And if we refresh, nothing changed because we are referencing the liked a model. So we need to go to likes and over here add a like and we are setting this test post and I'm going to set the value of like. So now if I save it, refresh, here we have number of likes given one. So this is working as well. And let's finally grab this, copy it, and let's try uh, the last thing. So number of likes received. And let me just copy this and paste it over here. And now let's save it and let's go back and understand one more thing about the relation, uh, related name. So if I press enter right now, we will have post object has no attribute likes. We used in the um, models of the profile um, this likes, okay? This related name likes. But if we look closely, if we head over to the models, we have from this particular uh, post. Uh, a forward relationship okay let's let's go back to the models we have all the posts over here and then we are looping through those posts we have this total liked and we have a single item okay and here's no reverse relationship this is a forward relationship and what you need to remember is that related name works when the uh, where there is a, re a reverse relationship. So we can very simply fix this problem by just changing likes to liked. We can save it and refresh. And here is number of likes received because we gave our post a single uh, like. So and this, is, um, this is working as well. And yeah, we will finish off over here and in the next one we will continue working on this profile. We will make uh, things happen automatically. So every time a particular like is given, we will also create or update our like object. But we would also like to finally display the post. So this is going to happen in the next or two uh, videos. So thank you for this one. Take care and bye bye.